Yup. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is happening. This is happening. Galaxy Opal Glow with the pack. Let's go. Oh, man. This was a struggle. This was a struggle, but we made it, y'all. We literally made it just in time. 98 overall. Western Conference number 50. Oh, brings a tear to my eye. Look at the beast. The Admiral is home for J Canada. Let's go. Galaxy Opal D-Rob. He's so beautiful. 99 offense, 99 defense, 7 foot 1. 93 three-point shot, 90 dunk, 90 driving, ball handling skills of a guard, 84 perimeter, 95 interior defense, speed 91, speed with ball 81, acceleration 91, 31 Hall of Fame badges come on. Gold deep threes because why not? I need to take a break, man. This is too much. So something you guys probably don't know about me that I've kept a secret for the entire six years I've been making YouTube videos is that since I was about mm, five years old, I've been required to wear glasses. Now, it's remained a secret here on YouTube because, well, I've literally never worn glasses in one of my videos. Instead, I've always worn uh, contact lenses like I have in right now. I'll be honest, the only reason I haven't worn glasses on video is because since I was pretty young, I've been extremely self-conscious about the way I look in glasses. I know that's probably silly, but it's just the truth. That was until Felix Grey hit me up, however, and they offered to sponsor today's video and hook me up with a pair of their super sharp looking blue light glasses and guys like these bad boys, they look really, really good. Now, in addition to me loving the way I look in these beautiful Nash frames, glasses from Felix Grey specialize in protecting our eyes from blue light, which each and every one of us is overexposed to by looking at screens throughout our day. I know for a fact that like me, y'all have experienced eye strain, headaches, blurry vision from a day of looking at screens. Don't lie. And to prevent those things, Felix Grey glasses filter 15 times more blue light from screens than any other clear blue light lenses. The frame are hand finished from Italian acetate, making them durable, lightweight, comfortable, and very handsome looking indeed. I mean, look at me. A pair such as these Nash frames with blue light lenses I have on right now starts at $95, or you can add your prescription at checkout starting at $145. And something I love, if you're not satisfied, you've got 30 days to exchange or return the glasses. So there's no reason not to head over to Felix Grey, show your eyes some love with glasses your eyes will love. Please check out the description of this video for more info. Thanks again to Felix Gray for sponsoring and for these sharp frames. I have been staying up all night playing this game for D-Rob. I, I need to start wearing these, these blue light glass. I, I need to protect my eyes. Like this is too many screens recently. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another, welcome back officially to another no money spent video here on my channel. I am Jay Canada in glasses today, yes, and as you can see from the title, the thumbnail, and of course that intro, I've done it. I, I have completed the goal for season five of my team, my first season with this no money spent account, and uh, I'm very happy about it. With just two days left in the Age of Heroes season, Jay Canada has completed 150k XP. Back when I started this account, this series literally like a month and a day ago, I remember saying, oh, I'm not going to go for D-Rob. It's too much, too difficult of a grind, and uh, you know, here we are. I, I did it. I I also have no regrets about it. Now, in terms of the grind itself, honestly, it wasn't that bad. This is a true no money spent. I have spent zero money on it. I only ever had like 200k MT was the most I ever had. And it was surprisingly easy to finish this. I mean, the amount of MT they give you at the end of the season really pushes it over. Just today, for example, they dropped these moments cards when I woke up this morning. It was 4,000 XP and it took me literally an hour. So yeah, last night when I was trying to get caught up, I made about 20, 20k XP in probably like three hours. So waiting until, you know, later in the season is definitely the move. You just won't be first to get the card, but really who cares about that? Now, of course, we've got a new season coming out uh, very, very shortly. I'll talk about that in the next episode, but am I going to go for the 150k reward there? We'll have to see who it is. Uh, I, I don't know. I didn't even feel like this grind for D-Rob was that difficult. Once again, here is the way the card looks. I mean, you've already seen it. Every time I played against this card online, he's torched me because he's got this speed and the ability to drive that no center, no big man can keep up with in addition to that three-point shot so once i get used to his jumper i mean it's gonna get serious out here oh i've even got a three-point shoe to add to him yeah why not i probably should have sold that shoe back in the day i didn't oh i should have included this in the intro now he's got 96 three-pointer even better can i make him any better like does he even have badges does, does he have no badges that i can make like make him even better let's see tight handles yeah sure why not i'm gonna be dribbling a bit with d rob do i have a silver i do not darn it pick dodger yeah we'll throw a bronze pick 
Chaudra on there too. Why not? My best card now in the collection. You love to see it. Oh, and by the way, I wasn't done there. So last night, uh, let me just show you. You guys are going to be disappointed in me. Yeah, Jay Canada got D Rob, but I still haven't made any further progress on spotlights. I've still got a ways to go. Low key, I'm nervous as John Wall might not be worth it now, but I'll see what comes out beginning of next season. They might put out a new domination or something. So we'll have to assess what I want to grind then. But in the meantime, to get all this XP, I was using Triple Threat offline. I'm up to 131 wins, as you can see. I like Triple Threat offline because it's super easy and it gives you the chance to get a vault reward such as Kermit Washington, which yes, I did get. So this season in 130 games, I got Don Ole. I got him right away. I think at like 30 games and then 100 games later, I did indeed get Kermit Washington. And that's why I grind XP and Triple Threat offline because you never know. Like this is a really nice bonus. Now, I don't know how much I, I've seen mixed reviews of this card, but I didn't grind specifically for him. So again, zero regrets. Oh my word. I almost forgot. <laughs> I almost forgot. I got a Hall of Fame badge too for level 39. Okay. Imagine if this was dude, if this was deep threes, I would just walk out of this room and finish this video. Oh, okay. Green machine. That's good. That's good. Right. That's good. I don't know enough about 2k. Somebody can correct me, but I'm pretty sure green machine is a fire badge. I'm just, I'm just going to have that mindset right now. It's perfect. Wait, if I can put, if I can, can I, can I put green machine? Hold on. Can I put green machine? Oh my word. I can put green machine on D-Rom. Whoa. Okay. Yup. 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 That was, uh, I, I, even if it's not the most overpowered badge, I can put a hall of fame on my new D-Rom. What a W video y'all. That's a W. That's e Let's take a look at this Kermit card too. He's a 6'8 power forward. Uh, does he have a good wingspan? I know people were complaining 81-3 just isn't very good. He kind of looks like exactly the same card as Sydney Wicks. 95 speed. Yo, that's really crazy. Yeah, very similar card to Sydney Wicks. I'll take it. And once again, got some new cards in here that need to be in the lineup. Well, let me refresh our lineup, see what I can make. My front court used to be the issue for me. Now I've got Kermit and D-Rob in the starting lineup. Wes and Pow off the bench. Actually, no, Wes got to be starting. I like that card hard a lot, but I think Kermit's going to be good at the four. Don Ole, still a stud, Clyde Drexler and Ray Allen, probably my best, my best big three of like guard slash wing players. So they're in the starters. I vibe with this Donovan Mitchell card off the bench. And we'll also give D'Lo and Latrell Sprewell another, uh, another go. I don't love both those cards, but I'm almost hundred percent with cards that I really like using that or think are awesome in my lineup. We're now a 94, 95, 94 overall. Wow, dude. I'm, I'm just loving making these videos. Like in a month, I have made this team with this account. This is why no money spent is really fun. I'm not going to lie. Like stuff like this. Oh, some, some auctions redeeming too. Yeah. Those Brandon Ingram, those moments cards selling for a lot right now. So if you've got them in your collection, put them up right now. We're almost at 200 K MT. Let's get it. Actually, because I've got so much MT, I know people are going to be yelling at me to do this. I'm going to scoop my boy, Andrew Wiggins, because I don't love Latrell Sprewell. I always prefer the free cards to cards I have to spend MT on, but uh, we'll make an exception for Wiggins. Just, just a great card. Six, eight, small forward. In fact, I could probably move him to the starting lineup. Yeah, let's give Andrew some shine because I want to play a game here and uh, we'll get him some touches. Opal Jamal, Opal Havlicek, Paul George KG. Wow, my, my opponents don't get much better than this, y'all. This is going to be a good test for my new Opal D-Rob, my new glasses, new J Canada. Let's go, no money spent. And let's start it off right. Don Ole, little Showtime dunk action. Love to see it. Oh yeah, D-Rob's going to be a menace defensively too. Like I'm going to be, I'm going to be hedging. Oh, I'm going to be hedging pick and rolls. He's going to be getting in passing lanes for me. Yup. Oh yeah. Yup. 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 That's what I love to do. That's what I love. Just run it out for a three. That's the advantage. You know, Wes Unseld is really good at doing that same thing. Now I've got him and D-Rob who can back out for threes. Perfect. Let's get a quick first around Nicola. Quick for, oh, that's a wide open three. That's a wide open three. And that's why I have Wes in here. I really dig Wes Unseld, especially at power forward. Where are you going, Andrew Wiggins? He, oh my word, okay. Andrew Wiggins just left, uh, just left Paul George literally wide open. That was not good, but we survived. Uh, Clyde to the rim. That was a weird animation, but I'll take it. I haven't done much with D-Rob this quarter. Can we get a quick first step burst? Ooh, AD's gonna defend this man like a beast. We already know. Well, but I guess it doesn't matter. I don't have to shoot threes with David. We can get to the rim. We got the stop. Let me find an open look. Uh, that'll do. Yep. Great right from the Marvel Studios logo. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, we got another one. We got, we got a buzzer beater right here. Right here. Stop. Uh, pop. I feel the power, man. Oh, that's different. That's different with the center. Bench him, but I, I got to keep D-Rob in here while he's got takeover. Like it, it has to be, has to be done. That should have been a block. He's going to be so scared of the pick and fade. I should just be able to go right to, oh, no, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That space, D-Rob. 
I mistimed it. Oh, 2K, you can still let me hit that, though. What? What? <laughs> What? D'Angelo Russell, I wasn't even commentating because I was like, oh, this is an easy dunk. D'Angelo Russell is probably not going to be on the team anymore. You miss you miss a dunk like that. Like, what am I supposed to do? Let's go transition Kermit. Transition Kermit. Ah, oh, that 95 speed definitely did not feel like 95 speed. Uh, I'm just saying, how did he get caught? Let's go power to the rim. Please finish that. Thank you very much. Okay, this is going to be a battle for sure. My opponent's pretty good at the game. Got a good team. Feeling a uh, bit of a longer battle here. Great defensive possession. Perfect rotations. Perfect everything. Uh, Donovan Mitt. Dang it. Perfect everything until a horrible fast break. Come on. Okay, Kermit. I, I don't mind that jumper, actually. 81-3. Guess it gets the job done if he's wide open. Great defense right here. Look at this double. Uh, rotate. Pow. That was a horrible contest, but it worked. Okay. That wasn't perfect defense, actually, because I didn't get back to the shooter, but we'll take it. I'll take a white, 2K. You can let me hit a white eventually. Up nine, maybe, maybe I can go on a big run here, maybe make this dude quit. We're, we're gonna have to see. All right, man, as you would have just seen, a uh, quick little montage. Yeah, I put in some work with D-Rob. I basically got this game won, but yeah, opponent's not quitting. It's only 13 points, so uh, let's see if we can't get some more uh, some more highlights. Use these new cards some more here. Oh, double Pau Gasol. That's my first green with him. Oh, my word. Kermit Washington. Now, both shots I've taken wide open, but two for two from three? Maybe this card really is legit. Okay, D'Angelo Russell. Okay, I was just thinking to myself, man, I really do need to upgrade on this Russell, but uh, he's he's not bad. He's an okay card. Another one, Kermit. Another one. This time, a white. All right, that 81-3 is, uh, it's not looking bad. Oh, no, d -Rob. No, D-Rob. I lost my greens with everybody. You know what? I, I think I'm okay, though, in a near 20-point victory anyways. Let's boost that shooting percentage a bit, D-Rob. Yeah, nice interior finish. I'm caring about stat padding now. What do you want from me? Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Opponent quits right before I can see the stats. I mean, like, now you're just being annoying. I probably won't play another unlimited game this season. So, uh, 16 and 6. That's really not bad for my debut with the No Money Spend account. And overall, really impressed with the lineup we built here. D-Rob, I'm not even used to his jumper yet. Still, still, I think I was like 4 of 8 maybe from deep with him. I mean, the card feels unreal he feels like the best xp reward card since steph curry like that's how much better than every other card this david robinson feels but in addition i liked what this kermit did this pow he's really nice he's really quick which is nice i'm not so sure about uh, d'angelo russell here i am thinking if i was able to get opal john wall he would be a definite improvement but nonetheless our lineup's looking good david robinson is acquired and uh and i'm feeling pretty good right now if you guys felt good about this video and enjoyed it please drop a thumbs up down below it really really does help thanks so much to felix gray again for sponsoring this video check out their information in the description you can get a great pair of blue light glasses like i've got and be sure to subscribe if you're new for playing more content i'm jay canada that's all i got for this one y'all have a great day peace